our prosthetic arm uh, project uh, was based and given down by the biomedical department for a senior design showcase. Our whole arm is manufactured by 3D printing. The only thing that's not 3D printing is electronics and the sleeve and the arm. Uh, our target was to provide a very low cost uh, arm to families out there that need arms, children, veterans, ETC, doesn't matter. One thing that really caught me was I was actually driving through a Hardee's drive through window and I noticed a 16 year old boy that was serving food at the window that didn't have an arm. And I asked him why he didn't have an arm and one, he said that the one that he had was too uncomfortable. Two, he said that his family couldn't afford it. And it that kind of hit home for me, you know, it's really unfair that you know, bio biomedical companies get to capitalize on people's life losses. And so really what we're trying to do is just provide and uh, make up for that loss. Uh, the average arm on the market costs around $50,000, so if you're a, a child and middle class family that has to be raised through adolescent years, you're looking at a half million to a million dollars to raise them through arms as they, you know, grow with their appendages. Our arm is being offered for $1,500, which is substantially cheaper, and it still offers all the functionality of the $50,000 arms, plus it gives them touch sensing so that they can feel what they're touching and understand how to work with the arm and have the arm work with them. Our arm is operated on EMG sensors, so when a person flexes their muscles, it reads that through a processing controller and then assorts a gesture such as a pinch or a fist to each one of those flexes. Um, they are driven by DC motors in the fingers, which make the fingers open and close on linear actuating devices. This gives the, the hand up to 50 pounds worth of holding torque, which makes it one of the strongest hands in the market currently. Uh, our hand also offers uh, touch sensing. This is provided through force resistors in each of the fingertips and vibrating motors in the uh, neoprene sleeve they're wearing. That way, so every time each finger touches an object, it sends a signal response to that vibrating motor letting them know that they are touching that object. Therefore, the harder they press on that object, the harder the motor shall vibrate. So essentially giving them a, touch, a sense of touch back. Student design is, is crucial in our education system. It's all about being hands-on. Students need to have the hands-on capabilities to go out into the market and know how to manufacture things, know how to make things. It's really, it's really crucial, and you know, the kids need to understand how technology works, how to work with it. You know, you can't just learn things in a textbook or on, you know, TV. It's not, it doesn't applicate that way.